so this is old. Uh, so is that, for that matter. But this is old. This uh, dates back to Warriors and Warlords 6. Uh, it is written by Edwin Atbridge. Uh, it is uh, a poem in half lines. It concerns a particular day of valor for Baron Geoffrey of Warwick and the students of the College of Torary, in which uh, they were victorious in a five-man melee tournament. I will tell you more details at the end. Uh, hear the deeds of doughty warriors, the war glory of Warwick's pride, Bold folk shield, Baron Geoffrey, famed in love as fierce in sword play. When spoke watchmen of spear host marching, in mail shirts bright, masked for combat, no time wasted, Nordskogan's lord deftly drew his death dealer. Age has not dulled the heirloom's edge, hefted in hand, heavy warboard, hastily snatched, helm bore crested, shrunk not from fight, showed no fear, trusted his courage and keen edges. Jeffrey quickly called to his men, Awake, my warband, wield your weapons, now is the hour for able steel play. But sleepy, Thane might, slumbered late, just two from the tower, trusted retainers, stirred from studies, strode the sword path, stood by Gold Lord, gave good service, battle mad Thorfinn, bear sark fame, and Britain your worth, brave in war press. A force of five foes they would face, but three swordsmen throng must withstand. Firm they formed, flinched not at all. Locked shields tightly, shoulder comrades dared the doomed to deal bravely. Hilts gripped tightly, they held the field, denied to all any war fame. No thrust of spear threatened soul homes. Trusty ringnet turned no edges. No globe bounced from Boar's helm's crest. None... None slid slain to slaughter a heap. Stalwart students, standing together, gave no ground, guarded their lord, conquered all who came against them, gained much glory, were granted a victory for brave baron who bore war steel. No one else showed up. Yeah. <laughs> the the three-man team in the five-man melee won by default. <laughs> Great trio.